It's me again. I told you, I'm gonna make a lot of videos. Just bam, 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 bam. Like a factory. I'm in the sweat house. All right, so um, I came across this guy yesterday, a Japanese businessman. He has worked abroad for like eight years. And his English was very distinguished. He was very educated. So that's cool. So we can talk like this. Hey, what's going on? Not much. You good? I'm good. Well, I doubt he would talk like that. But we can have a conversation. But for whatever reason, his whole purpose was to stump me. So everything he said was to see if I would be stumped. So he'd be like, so, what do you like about Japan? And I would be like, well, Japan is beautiful. Played safe. So what don't you like about Japan? I gotta, I, bet, I gotta be careful because he's Japanese and he can articulate how he feels. So I don't want to say anything and have him like jumping down my throat. Right? So I was like, well... So I went broad. I said, in Japan, things don't change very fast. I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, the same things that were happening... 200 years ago still happened today. He was like, well, all around the world things don't change. That is typical of society. So I left it at that. Alright, whatever. So then, uh, we're talking. He's like, so, what do you think about Japanese who cannot speak English, even though they have, were taught for six years? And we have so many schools, a thousand different schools in Japan. Jukus and Ikaiwas and private tutors, but yet Japanese people don't speak English. What do you think? And he sits back and he smiles. So, I mean, as you know, I have a, a stance on this, but I don't like to go into into situations with the guns blazing. There's just no point, you know. If you start off like this, it's very hard to end up like this. You know what I mean? So. Not that I want to be like this with the businessman. I'm just saying it's smoother. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a rhymer, not a writer. Anyway, so um, he um, was staring at me, waiting for my response. So I took a couple of seconds to think. And I said, so I brought it back. I, I believe the reason that there's a disparity between the amount of English being taught to Japanese people and the amount of people, amount of Japanese people who can speak English, it's because things don't change. The way things were going 50 years ago, 200 years ago, is the same way they think about it now. So he looks at me and he just kind of, he glosses over that and he's like, he answers his own question. Well, you see, the reason is because in Japan they study for test, for entrance exam. So then I interject, I know, I, I was an English teacher at Japanese schools for five years. And then he just ignores me again and he's like, so that is why um, that uh, we Japanese cannot speak English. So I'm thinking, what was the, why did you ask me in the first place? If you're going to answer your own question, it not take what I say as anything being said. So then, you know, that's just, we go going back and forth with this kind of conversation. And I'm just kind of like, I don't want to talk to you no more. So I, I started making my answers shorter and shorter. Just, that's nice. Okay. Ah, uh, sort of, sort of. Has to be going. And I was out. But, uh, I find that happens a lot. Uh, uh, here's another one. Uh, I was at the post office, and uh, I um, it was about a year ago, a year and three, four months. It was like three weeks before my birthday. That's why I know. Actually, I'll tell you why I have it all linked together. But anyway, so I went to the post office because I was doing something online. And I needed to link my bank card. Post office had bank cards. 
if you don't know that, say it, I don't know, I'll make, I'm sure you do know, but if you don't, I'll explain that in another video. Anyway, so I was linking my bank card to something online, like a PayPal, right, so I could transfer the money, and it said it needed the branch code of the post office. Now, in Japan, there's like lots and lots of post offices. And I made this bank card, or this post office card, like three years ago. I was forced to. My company said, you need a post office account. Back to the story. I'm in the bank at the post office, and the dude didn't understand what I was saying. So I'm about to explain it again. Because this is the bank I always go to. He knows me. I know him. So this is what we do. So at that moment, this, this business guy comes out of nowhere, just poof. Hey, it's a business guy. And he's like, can I help you, sir? I'm like, um, I'm, I'm, it happens enough time that I'm weary of the English speaking businessman. I'd rather say no, but he wouldn't leave. Anyway, so I'm like, um, I need to get the branch code of the post office where this card was made. So he's like, okay, do you have ID? Like, you don't need to know that, but I show him my ID so he could see that's the same. Maybe I'm being, uh, doing some type of shady business. So this is my ID, this is the card, same name. So he's like, so what are you doing? So I explained again. So he's like, it says here that you live in, so let's say for the sake of argument, you live in Shibuya. I'm like, mm, yes, I live in Shibuya. And he's like, well, your branch is this place. I was like, no, I need to know where this branch is. And he's like, okay. So he says in Japanese. And the guy's like, you don't know. So then the guy says, don't worry about that. You don't need to know that information. Just say that you are in Shibuya branch. I'm like, dude, I need to know. It's on the website. It says you need to know what the branch code is, not where it's located. I'm already stressed out because I already see where this is going. Mr. I've been around the world businessman is going to tell me what he knows when it's not even, he didn't see the website. I'm just repeating what the website told me. The website didn't talk to me. I'm just saying, what it said is what I'm asking for, and he is not helping me. So, then, you know, he's talking again to the, the guy, and he's like, there's nothing that he can do. So, I, I, I was just kind of like, you know, thank you for your time. I actually had to take a deep breath. <sighs> thank you for your time but I do not need your help anymore. So then, this businessman, he, he, he said this. this. Well, this is not what he said. This is how he sounded. He said, he looked at the post office guy. He's like, kind of like that. And I know what that means. I don't know what he said, but I know what it means. And I was about to start dropping the four-letter word, even though I know he knows what it means wouldn't do much but there's no reason to talk to me that way when I didn't ask for his help he asked if he could help me and he was dismissed from helping me so then he goes off into the he scurries along so I'm back with the post office guy so you know I ask him again you know, you know in Japanese simple Japanese so usually there is a website that has all the branches and all you have to do is type in the number because there's numbers on my card there's numbers on my book one of those numbers are the branches I just didn't know which number it was because it's not marked anywhere I don't know the phone number I don't even know what the branch is called so all he has to tell me is a number or just a little piece of a negative information and I'll be good to go so he informs me that there is no great database in the sky for post offices. And I guess that's because there's so many post offices, they just never thought it would be 
beneficial to have them like listed anywhere. So I say thank you, and I go about my business. But I was fuming. I didn't like that businessman. I, I didn't like it at all. I didn't like him. I didn't like what he said. I didn't like the whole. So I'm walking home just fuming, and I was gonna make a video. I, I really don't like making videos when I'm fuming or something pisses me off. I, I, I just kind of let it. Just, you know, it, it's. I don't want to get on here and rant. So I, I want to end my stories on a positive note, so you could be like, you know, Japan rocks. I could succeed over here. So I get home, I check my mail, and in my mailbox was a birthday card from my mom. And I just, the clouds just disappeared. The sunshine came down. I mean, it wasn't my birthday. My birthday was four days later. But my mom, I looked at the date she sent it. She sent it like a month ago, just so it would get there on time. And I, I, I had no more problems, you know? And I was happy. So that's my long story about uh, the businessman. Yeah. All right. Peace. Rhyming.